Hello everyone, welcome to LRDA Prep. My name is Samir Sardana and in this video I'll be discussing a CAT 2018 matrix set. A very important set, right? Should be done by every candidate who is preparing for CAT. And uh, this is a very easy one, right? It would be a cakewalk for any candidate who have practiced a basic level of matrix set. You know, if you know how to solve the Sudoku, you will understand the concept straight away and will not take much time. All the four or five questions can be solved from this set in four to five minutes, right? It's just the understanding of the first paragraph. Your proper reading, your proper understanding of the first paragraph will help you in solving all the questions very easily. For example, here in this case, we have the information says you are given an n into n square matrix to be filled. n into n square matrix, you should know what is an n into n square matrix, right? We, we are supposed to fill it with numerals so that no two adjacent cells have the same numbers. And two cells are called adjacent if they touch each other horizontally, vertically or diagonally. So this is the main part that you make, that you, that you should try to make yourself understand. That what is the meaning of the word adjacent? If two cells are connected each other horizontally or vertically or diagonally, then they are called adjacent cell. For example, if I look at this particular cell, these three cells are the adjacent cell to this cell, right? If I look at this particular cell, you cell this is vertically adjacent, this is also vertically adjacent to this cell, this cell is horizontally adjacent to this, this is diagonally adjacent to this, and this is also diagonally adjacent. So this particular cell has five adjacent cells. This corner cell have three adjacent cells, right? So the cell which exa is exactly in the middle of this matrix will have uh, eight adjacent cells. Right. So this is what has been mentioned in the first paragraph. Now the question is, what is the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill a 3 into 3 square matrix? You see that? If you don't try to make yourself understand what exactly is the meaning of the word adjacent, there is no point of solving the questions, right? It's only the small words, right? Whenever you're solving the LR set, it's very important that you pay attention to these type of words, right? Here the question says a minimum number of numerals, right? That means I need to use the minimum possible number of numerals to fill in this matrix. So whatever numerals, that means the numbers that I'm using to fill this three into three square matrix, those numbers has to be as minimum as possible, right? Pay this special attention to the word as minimum, sum, all, right? These are the, these are the, you know, uh, 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 playing numbers, right? Which you need to uh, play special attention, which you need to, you know, give a special attention. If you don't give a special attention to these words, I guess you will never get to know what we are actually, what you are actually supposed to answer it, right? Question is very easy. You will get your answer in one second, right? Once you understand the information, right? So don't forget in reasoning, most of the time it's your understanding and your attention to these small words, right? For example, if somebody simply read, read through this information and don't uh, understand what exactly is the meaning of the word adjacent practically by taking the numbers here, uh, you know, they, that, that person will definitely make a mistake while answering the question, right? You, so make yourself understand the statement before you go to the answer. Question is very simple and straightforward, a simple question, right? See that I need to minimize the number of numerals. I need to minimize the number of numerals that is needed to fill a three into three square matrix. Now, if I want to minimize the number of numerals, right? I will try to fill a one single numeral at as many places as possible. And the condition is two adjacent cells should not have the same numeral. Okay. So whatever number you choose, whatever number, right? One, two, three, four, choose one number. Let's choose one, right? Why one? Because the question is not talking about which digit you are using. The question is about the numbers of digit that you are using to fill the matrix. So the numbers of digit is uh, what you need to, you know, uh, 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 consider, right? Not that which digit you are using, that does not play any role here. Even if you want to use 15 here, you can use the 15 here, right? So if I'm using a one particular digit, let's say one, and I want to minimize the number of numeral, I will try to use this numeral as many times as possible in this whole matrix. And the condition is two adjacent cells, cells should not have the same numeral. Now, if I used one here, I cannot use one here, I cannot use one here, I cannot use one here. The reason I cannot use one in these three cells is because these three cell is adjacent to this cell. But do I have any condition that one cannot be used here? It can be used here. Why I'm using the same numerals here? Because I need to minimize the number of numerals. 
If I want to minimize a numeral, I need to use the same numeral as many times as possible, right? So if I cannot use in these three adjacent cells, I can use it here, right? Condition is not getting disturbed here. The condition that has that we are supposed to follow here in this particular question is not getting violated. So you can use one here. Also, now if one is used here, I cannot use one at these three adjacent cells. But can I use one here? Yes, I can use one here. Can I use one here? Yes, I can use one here. But these three adjacent cells cannot have can cannot be used, right? Cannot be used with the same number one. Once you use one, these three adjacent cells cannot be used with one here. Now, can I use one at any other place? No, we cannot use one at any other place. That means now I have to go to a second next digit, whichever digit you want to use, two, three, four, five, whatever, right? Let's pick the digit two. Now, if I want to pick the digit two here, where should I fill it? Let's fill the two digit here. Can I use two here? No, I cannot use two here because it's vertically adjacent. Can I use two here? No, I cannot use it because they are diagonally adjacent. Can I use two here? No, because they are diagonally adjacent. So I'll have the only place left in the whole matrix is to, is to be used two here, right? Now they are not adjacent, so you can use two here. The next number, pick any number, write three. Now let's fill the three any, at any place. Let's use three here. Can I place three here? No, but I can I place three here? Yes, I can place it here, right? Now, is there any numeral out of these used numerals that you can use in this particular cell? No, because this cell is adjacent to all of these cells. So there has to be a different number that we have been using in all these cells. So that number will be 4. Now you see that. Now this 3 into 3 square matrix is completely filled. And now tell me how many numerals are used? How many numbers have been used to fill this 3 into 3 square matrix? 4 number. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the answer to the question is four. That's it. This is what they are asking, right? This is the question of CAT 2018, which is considered to be one of the difficult, difficult uh, CAT paper, which you can see is not, right? The question is very easy. This type of set can be solved in, you know, five minutes, right? All four questions are based on the same concept, right? So this was the question number one of CAT 2018 slot. A basic knowledge of many, not, not even the basic knowledge, a basic understanding of the information helps you in solving this set, right? So all you need in LR is your confidence level and a proper reading of the information, a proper understanding of the instructions, and you are through with the set, right? Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll be discussing the remaining question of the set in the next video. Thank you so much, right? The question number two and three will be discussed in the next video, and then I'll be, in the next part of the video, I'll be recording the question number four. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, or share it with all of your friends. There are a lot of videos that I have uploaded for your LR and DI section for CAT exam and more logical reasoning videos for other MBA entrance exams will also be uploaded very soon. Right now on the platform, on this channel, we have 100 plus logical reasoning and data interpretation videos which are sufficient enough for your CAT exam preparation uh, when it comes to LR DI sections. Right? More will be uploaded. Please subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your friends. Thank you. See you then in the next part of the video.